Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. What's going on? Look at them tights. Jesus Christ. So in case any of you are worried, <laughs> the camera is not going up my arse today. <laughs> Managed to get consent at the end of the day, my mum, don't worry. No, no mothers were harmed in the making of this vlog. <laughs> Had my shake, feeling fresh. Um, and I am headed up to Beedon this morning with the little ones to meet a couple of schoolmates. Um, and have a little walk on the beach. Customary coffee stop before we uh, properly set off. Oh, much better. Girls, are we ready to go? Are you excited for the beach at Beadnell? Yeah. I don't think they know where they're going. Made it to Beadnell. Uh, I'm just waiting for Hugh, well, Joe to arrive, and I think Hugh's living here at the minute, so wait for Joe to arrive and meet up with Hugh and Joe and go on a little wander along the beach. So, thankfully, this time the uh, public toilets are actually open. Result. These two are busting to get out the car. Let's have a little wander on the beach, girls. We'll definitely be popping one of those later. <laughs> prestige level dog walker when you've got the leads hanging around your neck. It's fitting right in with the uh, local populace of Beadnell. I told you I'd get a 99. The bizzo. Well we had a little a good run around on the beach there didn't we girls? Eh? You certainly did anyway. Uh, and we are actually going to head to a pub, the ship in in Newton. Pardon me. Um, so yeah, little drive along there, and then we're going to chill out and have a coffee in the sort of sun. Don't know if you can call it sun, more like the clouds. But yeah. So we've had to travel from Beadnell to Newton in separate cars. It's not a long distance between the two. I've still managed to get lost. Found them. We have arrived at Newton, at Milton, and we're at the ship inn. Just get a little bite to eat and a coffee. Happy days. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the fans, they took me on a day out. <laughs> I'm just trying to eat my salmon and two fucking weirdos. Two subscribers. Two subscribers have come and sat next to me. I've been watching you right from the beginning. Yeah, apparently they're my day, day, day one fans. <laughs> uh, but no, we're on Embleton Beach. Is that right? Newton. Newton Beach. 
tucking into some fresh local crab sandwiches um, in the this is probably as good as the English sun actually gets so the English sun uh, and yeah the nice view Ruby you can't you're attached to the boat just left Hugh and Joe at the beach they're chilling out and getting a tan on I'm heading back so I think the dogs are getting a little bit restless so catch you back home it's really hot and I forgot to bring water so I think I might have to do a pit stop for these two boo yeah home time nothing left to make me feel small luck has left me standing so tall power to know you're indestructible always believe it yeah if the vlogging doesn't work out i think i could seriously contemplate giving it a go on x factor i don't know what you think i have been told that if i was when i sing frank sinatra i'm probably good enough potentially i'm like cruise ship impersonator level so there's a career there So this is Boo's little spot down there when we're driving because uh, especially when it's hot because there's two little air vents down there it just sits in front of it so the air blows on it and just rests her head on there and goes to sleep it's really quite cute oh she's gone she's gone she's a bit camera shy made it home you excited I think you want to drink a water don't you Boo's in a little spot just uh, had a little bite to eat and I'm headed to Asda to um, sort out my dad's Father's Day present which I'm not looking forward to because I know the queue's going to be ridiculous but that's what happens when you leave it to the last minute more fool me, more fool me just realised that my dad might be watching this so if you are watching this I bought this, I bought the present a week ago well thought out, done in advance So I'm going to print off a uh, racing photo of my dad and put it in a frame for him. I think it's quite cool. So I've got the photos and a few frames, so mission successful. So I'm headed back home now to meet Bruno. Going to have a little fire pit session and um, cook some burgers. So see you there. Oh, is, Bruno's rock seven, look at that haircut! Oh, get it in the light! Come here! Look at the good Look at him in the light! Get here! Come on, how are Look at that man! You cut that with a fucking. What did you cut it with a knife and fork? Oh, come here! Let me see <laughs> oh, oh Jesus Christ! Christ. Christ. <laughs> I, oh, it's change the subject. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I knew it's sunburned. Fun looks good, though, isn't it? Yeah, fuck, <laughs> nothing, nothing looks good. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Bruno, everyone. Bloggers. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno's round because I am going to cook us both burgers, which I got from off the menu. Off the menu is a new company who are delivering meal kits to your door um, which are basically kits which include the ingredients from meals from your favourite restaurants so they've started off with off the menu times 206 which was formerly known as Bow Bar um, and they literally do some of Newcastle's best burgers so you get all the different ingredients that come, you get the lettuce, the buns you've got the nice burgers there wedges on the side and then I've got some cheese and in the fridge I've got pickles and sauce um, and basically they sort of on the back of this there's all the ingredients and the method through which you cook it so I've had I had some last week actually and they were unbelievable so I thought I'd invite Bruno along to have a burger so um, but yeah check it out it's off the menu Dot co on Instagram and the website is as well off the menu.co. So 
make sure you check it out. Burgers are sick. So we're on Highbury in Jasmond and everyone and their uncle is out. Are you just going to open up both the doors all the time? Yeah. You're going to have like a full stop I think UK lockdown now has become a bit of a piss take to be honest. I'm going to miss like that. Stunts! Is yours the same as it? Berg, you getting the gear dropped off? <laughs> What you got there? You got a bag of the good good? I hope that's not weed. Quite a lot of weed. What'd you get? Oh. Oh my god, alcohol. Did you get ID'd? Fuck, we should report him. <laughs> that's the end of another day's pottering. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, see you in the next one. And of course, stay healthy. Stay fit, most importantly, stay lit. Keep it real, people. See you in the next one.